Hi there, my name's Sally and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about muzzles. There are different types of muzzles. These two are basket muzzles or sometimes known as Baskerville muzzles. And this one is a fabric muzzle, uh, sometimes known as a Mickey muzzle. Some people think that the basket muzzles look a little bit more harsh on the dog, but actually these are a lot better for most situations. While wearing one of these muzzles, the dog can still open their mouth, can still pant and can even still eat a treat popped either in the side or through the front of the muzzle. This makes them a lot safer, especially on hot days or for dogs with short muzzles. They're still safe because the dog can't actually get to anyone through the muzzle or to any other animals, but they still allow the dog to regulate their own temperature and eat and drink. These fabric muzzles also go over the nose and round the back of the head, but they work by stopping the dog from opening their mouth. So they can be more dangerous when it comes to hot weather or allowing the dog to be able to drink. Also, it's more difficult to give them a treat with this muzzle, so you can't reward them for wearing it. Now, little Skylar here is about six months old, and she's never shown any aggression to other dogs or other people. So you'd think, why bother with training her to wear a muzzle? But if she ever had, for example, a serious accident and was in large amounts of pain, it might be very useful to be able to put a muzzle on her just to keep her and everyone else around her safe. One of the other benefits of muzzles is that it gives a signal to other dog owners that you might want them to stay away from you and your dog. So if your dog's a little wary of other dogs, putting a muzzle onto your dog, as long as they're happy wearing it, can make sure that other people keep their distance. Now if I simply put this muzzle on Skylar and left her to it, she'd probably scrabble at it, she'd scratch at the side of it, um, she's trying to pull it off the top of her nose, and it'd be quite a stressful experience for her. And if that first time was when she needed to wear a muzzle, that would just increase the amount of stress in the situation. So it's much better in teaching her to be happy wearing it beforehand and then if we ever need it throughout her life it won't be a stressful situation for her. So first of all I'm just going to teach her that this item is a safe item. What's that? So I'll try putting some treats around it. Good girl. Maybe some treats underneath it so that she has to push it out of the way to get to the treats. Good girl. And she doesn't seem phased by the item itself. I'm just using her regular dinner here. We hand feed her quite a lot, so she's used to doing things to get her daily rations. What's this here? Good girl. <laughs> she doesn't seem at all bothered by the muzzle. She's just interested in the treats. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of cheese spread. You can use something they like. Um, something sticky is useful, so uh, cheese spread or pate or something. Just pop a little bit around the edge. Just let her lick it off. Yeah. Good girl. Just reinforcing the idea that this isn't a scary item. Good girl. Just pop that here. I'm going to pop a little bit on the inside so that she has to start putting her nose into the middle of it to get it. What's that in there? Look. It's in here. Good girl. That's a good girl. And so she's starting to put her nose a little bit into the muzzle to get that cheese from the inside. Good girl. Now I'm keeping the muzzle fairly still so that this is at her own pace. She can put her nose in to get at the cheese bread that's in there and she can pull out when she's ready. Put a bit more. What's that? Oh, good girl. Now, as you see, this muzzle is probably a little big for Skylar. Um, she's so small, it's difficult to get a muzzle that's the right size for her. Uh, but this will do for training for now. Good girl. Now, it's probably worth starting to introduce a command at this stage to actually tell her, I want you to put your nose into the muzzle. So I'm going to say, muzzle. Good girl. So she's obviously putting um, her pretty much her whole face into the muzzle to get the cheese spread from the inside. Muzzle. Good girl. I'll try that again. Muzzle. Good girl. That's a clever girl. Yeah. Muzzle. Good girl. Good girl. That's a very good girl. So I'm going to try now asking her to put her muzzle in and give her the reward that's not the cheese spread. So muzzle. Yes. Good girl. And she can have a treat there. Muzzle. Good girl. Might even try popping a treat through the end of the muzzle. Good girl. 
Yes, a nice girl, good girl. Muzzle. That's very good. Now we want to increase the amount of time that she's got her nose into the muzzle. So I might hold it a few seconds. Good girl. And then give her the treat. Good girl. Notice I've still not even used, closing the straps. She's only keeping her head in there because she wants to, because she knows that there's treats coming. Good girl. <laughs> and she doesn't seem to want to take her face out of it at the moment. That's nice. Good girl. If your muzzle has a clip on the back of it, it's worth making sure that they're happy with the noise. Good girl. And you try this when the muzzle's not even on them at all. Good girl. She doesn't seem phased at all. If your dog is a little wary of the, cl the clip, just simply clip it together and feed, and clip it together and feed, and repeat this until your dog uh, hears the clip and looks up saying, where's my treat? And we can treat this like any other training. So we ask for a sit and a down. Good girl. And muzzle. Good girl. That's very good girl. Once she's happy holding her nose in there for a few seconds, we can start to get her used to the strap going behind her head. So I'd just pop it there for a couple of seconds. Good girl. And give her the treat. And then possibly even take it off. Let's try again. Muzzle. And the strap goes round. And good girl. And then I can take it off. Once she's really comfortable with having her nose into the muzzle, just reach round the back and do the strap up a little bit. Good girl. Good girl. It's sometimes easier to hold the bottom of the muzzle while you're giving them a treat. Just helps them keep the, the head still, keeps the, keeps the mouth still, so that you can get the, the treat through the bars of that muzzle. Good girl. Make sure you only do a few seconds at a time. This type of muzzle sometimes has a little slot with an extra little bit in there, and it's quite often useful to take that bit out so that there's more space around the outsides to be able to get a treat into. Skylar, this way. Can you put your muzzle? Good girl. Should we do that up. Good girl. That's a good girl. Very nice. OK. Now what I do is do this training for a couple of minutes a day. You can do it while you're watching telly. Um, make sure you go at your dog's pace. So if they look uncomfortable with it, if they start to scratch it and, and, and pull it off, you probably push the training a little bit too fast. A little bit of training each day and your dog will quickly become very comfortable with wearing the muzzle. When they are comfortable wearing it in the house, try it on them in the garden or out on a walk. Sometimes you'll find that they're happy sitting still with it, but as soon as they start moving, they then try to scratch it off. So just do a couple of steps at a time, and slowly getting them used to wearing the muzzle in lots of different situations. As you can see, Skye's tail's wagging. She's obviously enjoying this training. Sit, sit, and muzzle. Yes, good girl. It's not a stressful experience for her. Um, it's, it's a game to her. She's learning, she's getting her treats, and she's working out the best way to get them. So make sure you go at your dog's own pace, make sure you keep it fun for them, make sure you don't push them too fast, and a muzzle will never be seen as a scary thing for your dog, and it will never be a stressful item to be wearing.